Y'all, let's get into one of the hot topics of right now and what seems to be a hot topic that's been going on for like six months now. I don't remember when Britney first got naked on the gram. I really don't. Must have been like, it was some type of months ago. And when she first showed those tits, maybe it was like a year ago. Honestly, I don't even know. It was after the conservatorship, right? Or maybe it was during? Who fucking knows? Honestly, I don't even, I really don't fucking know. All I know is her tits were out. Her tits were out and we were living for it. We were loving it. And people were acting like she was really nude. They kept calling it nudes. It wasn't nudes. You don't see a nipple, it's not a nude. Even if you saw a motherfucking nipple, it's a it's a boob, ma'am. This is a this is a booby. Like there is this is a breast. This is a motherfucking breast. If I got naked right now, would you all really be getting wild about my nipples? No, cause who gives a fuck? I like in Europe, the girls are naked on the beach all the time, showing the breast and like naked. It's not even naked, bitch. It's breast. Like let's just please fucking move on. I can't believe this is still a topic that every time Miss Mamas gets naked on the gram, you know the general public really gets wild. And the Britney fans, I would say most of y'all and us, you know, we really seem very supportive. We don't really give a fuck. I don't feel like I give a fuck. I don't really think that most people give a fuck in the Britney fandom. But it does seem like, I will say, you know, you do have your little naysayers here and there that are like, oh, well, you know, she is a mom. And imagine being her kid and going on Instagram and seeing... You know, seeing this, and like, first of all, fuck them kids, just kidding. Uh, you know what, let me tell you. We love a good kid, we love her kids, we love her kids, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do. But you really, these kids are like 17, 18, it's how, grow up. We don't give a fuck. I think that they are going through, they have seen way worse than what, you know, Britney being topless on the gram. Like that is just the least of their trauma at this point in their life. It is the least of any care of anybody in the family or that it, like it should it shouldn't be a care. Now, first second of all or third of all, I don't even know what point I'm on, but at this point, let me tell you something. You don't even when she really gets fully naked and it's not just topless, but it's giving I'm just fully nude, do I see her pussy? No. Do you? I haven't seen it. I don't see it. She puts a little diamond, she puts a little heart, she puts a little star, she puts a little eye emoji, she puts emojis on it. You're not really, these are not nudes. If you really think about it, if, it, if these were nudes, would I have not seen her pussy? And I have not seen it to this day. Although we did see it, you know, and you know what, let's also hop into that. Miss Mamas has been naked and sexual since day one. That's just Britney, what the fuck you want us to do? When she made Blackout, okay, her most honest, In The Zone and Blackout are like her most sexual albums. And In The Zone, when she went on the Onyx Hotel tour, that was her most sexual tour. And that was when Britney was at the helm in control. She loves sex. So what? So fucking what? So fucking what? Sex is sex. Sex is life. Sex actually is life because sex is what brings life into this world. So can we all just fucking move on? It's just sex. She's not even having sex. Well, maybe she's having sex, but she's not doing it on the gram. She's just showing her body off. Who gives a fuck? I like, I really don't care. Now, also on top of that, to me, it's a very artistic, it's symbolic. Miss Brittany is very symbolic. She loves the creativity. She loves expressing herself through creative means. And so therefore, and she's very symbolic. Okay, so for example, when she shaved her head, like she said, that was a form of rebellion. It was a part of freeing myself. That's what she said and for the record. So this is the same fucking thing to me. It's I'm free, girl. What's more free than just wearing nothing and just bearing it all? And it's very funny to me and it's very interesting that when she was in the conservatorship, she was giving, I'm a mom, I'm a mom, I can't do anything sexual, please, I can't take it. Um, you know why? It wasn't because she was a mom. It was because she was in conservatorship and when you're feeling, even if you're not in a conservatorship, let's just say you're in an era of your life where you're not feeling comfortable with yourself, you're feeling guarded, you're feeling, you don't feel like yourself, you know, you're wearing hoodies, you're protecting yourself, it's giving that. And so therefore she wasn't sexual because she wasn't feeling herself. She wasn't feeling her oats, she wasn't feeling her life, she wasn't happy. And now Ms. Mamas is happy and she's, well, at least she's trying to get back to a place of happiness. You know what's really funny is that people are loving this whole, the, let's get to the general public who loves to comment every time she gets naked on the gram talking about, oh, she needs like a conservatorship, what is, she is crying out for help, blah, 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 blah. Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> this is a cry for help. This is a cry for help just wearing no clothes. That to me is not a cry for help. And maybe if she was walking around, you know, motherfucking New York City, just naked up on Fifth Avenue, then maybe I'd say, okay, girl, something's going on. We, let's, let's, let's take care of you. But taking a little nude in the, in the motherfucking mirror and posting a little emojis like Kim Kardashian hasn't done it, Kendall Jenner, J-Lo, everybody's done it. Everybody's done it and they do it. Hillary Duff just did it yesterday. We saw it on the magazine cover. She's naked, she's nude, she's feeling free, she's independent. Why do all those themes get to go with everybody else? But when Britney does it, those themes don't correlate to the nude. It correlates to crazy. And they're like, oh, because it's Instagram. 
but why? That doesn't make sense to me because actually, if you really think about it, it's a little, I don't think any of it is weird because I really don't give a fuck, but if you really think what what is really weird is getting naked and people putting makeup on you and you got a whole crew, 20 people taking pictures, like, okay, pose like this, do this, do that, while you're naked with your vagina hanging out. Like, if you really think about it, that's a little weirder to me than just getting naked in your own private room and just taking a flick and then putting a little emoji on it. That's a little less bearing to me than, you know, a whole crew of people give, you know, doing the whole damn thing. I think that's a little more weird. Not that, again, I don't think either of it is weird. I really don't give a fuck. And nudity is nudity, girl. Like, who really gives a fuck? I just don't. It's an ass. It's a dick. It's a pussy. Like, who cares? Really, who cares? Who cares? But, like I've also said, she's not really, like, yes, she's naked, but you're not seeing anything. Just because you saw, you know, the tits are squeezed. If she had a bra on, you'd be seeing the same shit. You'd be seeing the same shit. You've seen her with the crop tops on. You've seen it all. So what really, what is the big deal? Anyway, back to the, what the, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying at this point. Point is, she's a symbolic girl. She's a symbolic girl. She's just getting naked to feel free, to feel happy. That was my point. The general public who loves to be talking about she needs to be in a conservatorship. Let me tell you something. When I talk to people that are in the general public and, not, and are not just like Britney huge fans and they're just talking about the conservatorship, they always go straight to, oh yeah, they were taking advantage of her. They were taking her money. Money, 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 money. They always bring up the money part. And they're like, I feel so bad for her. They took her money. They had her working. They took her money. To me, or first of all, that's obviously a massive part of it, like huge. But to me, the biggest part of it is just the psychological damage of being told that you can't leave the house. You are this, you're that. Like like she was saying, they were telling, you're fat, you're, you know, you're, whatever the fuck they were saying to her, they were making her feel like you are less than, you are nothing. And the court's telling you that, no, you can't have a baby. No, you can't make your own friends. No, you can't text this person. No, you can't hang out with this person. You're gonna go home and you're gonna sit in your room and you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna do nothing. And you're gonna sit in this fucking house while we take your money. And now we can take the money. But the point of the matter is, it's a psychological damage of imagine being told that you can't do anything and you are nobody and you are nothing. That is the main point. So to me to say that she needs a conservatorship because she's getting naked on the gram, like I would be like, just think about the fact that you spent 13 years not being able to do anything that you want to do at all, literally living like a motherfucking servant and, you know, enslaved under your father's rule and you getting naked as a cry for help and you need conservatorship? No, if anything, it's just freeing. It feels like freedom. And if she's, and if you think that she needs help or whatever the fact, maybe she, you know, I would need a lot of therapy. I think we all, first of all, I think we all fucking need some therapy. Like, let's be real. I think that's a great thing to do and mental health and blah, 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 spirituality, all that stuff is amazing. We love, but you know, give the girl a damn break. If anything, I feel like getting naked on the gram is literally the least of anything that is crazy or that she could be doing. Bitch, if I was in a, first of all, I don't even like somebody telling me what to do with my, like, with just a daily thing. Like, bitch, if I'm gonna get a burger and you're talking about, oh, you should be, like, I was at work the other day, I said, I'm gonna get Taco Bell. And you know, the girl said, bitch, Taco Bell again. Be like, ah, 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 ah. And I was about to be like, bitch, shut the fuck up and mind your goddamn business, because no one's gonna tell me what to fucking do. So that could really, that for me personally, someone telling me what to do, like in my daily life, the, like day to day things that I'm doing, or even just like career, like, oh, I don't think you should do that. Like, why don't you do this? That, I don't like that. Don't fucking tell me what to do. I don't like being told what to do. And I could, like, I would literally lose my fucking mind just in a general basis of someone trying to tell me what to do. So imagine 13 years of being forced under law to do everything that you don't want to do under the rule of your father who abused you as a child and continued to abuse you. And, and just, I mean, the whole fucking story, the whole lifeline story, I mean, it's a whole fucking mess. So... If anything, she is so fucking strong and we should feel really empowered and inspired and just strengthened by Miss Brittany continuing to live her life after 13 years of literal misery and still putting a smile on her face. And the worst, worst thing that she does is getting naked on Instagram and putting emojis to cover up the explicit shit. You know what I mean? That's the worst? Then I don't give a fuck. Obviously, Miss Mamas knows what she's doing. And she's building her life back up again and building her mental health back to where it needs to be and bringing her joy and happiness to where it needs to be on her own and where her new support system that are, you know, her fiance and her new assistant and blah, 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 blah. And yes, it's going to take a long time because like I said, girl, like, bitch, I just spent one year in New Jersey living alone and in isolation 
in this boring ass apartment with no goddamn friends, no social life. Well, I had friends, but you know, I didn't want to hang out with those damn people. But, uh, you know, now, you know, one year later, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, I feel free. It's freedom. Like, so imagine, like, I was feeling so heavy just under the, like, weight of having, like, no one around me or, like, not, I didn't like my job. I didn't like where I was living. I didn't like being isolated. That was from one year just living in Jersey. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really that big of a deal, but, like, really the weight of it feels like, oh, like, I literally, I, like, I can't take it. So imagine that except 13 years and, like, way, and obviously way worse, like, clearly. Like, you literally cannot do anything that you don't want to do, like, that you can't, whatever the fuck. Point is, bitch, let her do what the fuck she wants to do. I don't give a fuck. She's obviously doing her life and we need to look at the psychological damage that could have absolutely happened over 13 years and the fact that she's not really doing anything wild to me. Give her her props. Give her her credit and give, you know, just sit there and be like, wow, you really did that. You did that. You have went through so much and things that we don't even know about. And yet here you are still living and loving. And on top of that, everyone's like, well, why does she keep posting them? Like, that's the weird thing. I don't think that's a weird thing. You know why? Because I think that she, first of all, also from the beginning of her career, she doesn't, she likes to be sarcastic. She likes to, you know, get the girls riled up. And I think that when people, like, start complaining about things that she does, she likes to continue to do it. Just like me, girl, we're headstrong and we say, oh, you don't like what we're doing? Then we're going to keep fucking doing it and we're going to do it to piss you off even more. Yeah. And that's not a crazy person. That actually is even more headstrong, strong-willed person because she said, look at these girls. She sees the comments. You don't, why did you, why do you think she posted it again last night and said, you know, I love you all so much. Sarcasm, girl, because she was reading all those comments talking about, you are crazy. You need help. You need to go to, you need a conservatorship. You need prison. No. She read that, she said, L O fucking L. I'm I'm gonna show you my pussy one more time. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yep, yeah, I am. I'm gonna show you this pussy. And she did. I don't give a fuck about it. And nobody should give a fuck about it. And she's gonna keep doing it if y'all keep telling her not to. Because that is Queen Ting's. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So overall, I don't even honestly, I feel like I had a I had another goddamn point. I really did. I really did. I did. But whatever, this video has gone on way too long anyway. So the point is. Brittany's gonna keep doing whatever the fuck she wants to do. The more people complain about it, she's gonna keep doing it some more. Like, even back in the beginning of her career, you know, the shocking things that had the controversy going. The people said, oh my God, look at this girl. She is up on the stage, like, in this, you know, naked suit. Oops, I did again, be amazed. And so what she do next year? She got, you know, she showed some more skin and got a fucking snake on her shoulders. And then she did a lesbian kiss. She said, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And she shouldn't give a fuck. So, in conclusion, we love her. We love the nudes. I don't really care if she keeps showing us her breasts. I really don't. I think she's going to keep doing it if, we keep, if people keep complaining. And, you know, like I said, on the top of it, the point of it is it's symbolic. It feels like freedom. It, she wouldn't be doing this as a cry for help. If anything, it's the opposite. If she was up on the gram, like, in, you know, just looking like a gothic freak, girl, all covered up, I'd be like, what the hell is going on? What is going on, Miss Brittany? Because this is not you. Miss The Brittany that we know loves sex. She loves being free. She loves that vibe of freedom to freedom. And that's what we have. And we're going to continue having it. And yes, she is. Yes, she is. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Miss Brittany's nudity. Um, we live it and we support it. Yeah.